say goodbye to the rat myths as we investigate the more likely culprit of the infamous bubonic plague. Today, we're embarking on a thrilling journey to explore a topic that has captivated minds for centuries. I'm your host, Robert, and let's unravel this intriguing tale together. The Black Death, one of the deadliest pandemics in human history, swept through Europe during the 14th century, causing the deaths of millions. For centuries, historians have pointed fingers at rats and fleas as the culprits responsible for spreading the disease. But recent research and new evidence suggest that the conventional narrative might be far from the truth. The rat theory gained popularity due to the bubonic form of the plague. According to this theory, infected fleas on rats transmitted the Yersinia pestis bacterium to humans. However, several researchers are now questioning this idea. They argue that the rapid spread of the disease across vast distances could not be solely attributed to rats and fleas. One alternative theory gaining momentum is the concept of human-to-human -human transmission. Some experts believe that the pneumonic form of the plague, which attacks the respiratory system, might have played a more significant role in spreading the disease. This form of transmission could explain how the plague moved rapidly through densely populated areas, such as bustling cities and trading hubs. To shed more light on the debate, let's delve into historical accounts from that era. Many eyewitness reports from the time described the terrifying symptoms of the Black Death and its rapid spread. Some of these accounts make no mention of rats or fleas. Instead, they focus on human-to-human -human contact and respiratory symptoms, reinforcing the possibility of alternative transmission methods. In recent years, archaeologists have unearthed mass graves from the Black Death period. Surprisingly, they found that some of these graves contained the remains of victims buried in separate layers. This suggests a pattern consistent with the theory of multiple waves of infection pointing towards person to person spread rather than a continuous rat-based transmission. Modern science has also contributed significantly to this debate. Advances in genetics have allowed researchers to study ancient DNA samples from plague victims. By analyzing these samples, scientists have been able to trace the evolution of the Yersinia pestis bacterium and its mutations over time. This research supports the notion that human interactions likely played a critical role in the spread of the disease. Now, this isn't to say that rats and fleas were entirely innocent bystanders. They might have played a role in localized outbreaks, particularly in rural areas with limited human-to-human -human contact. However, the overwhelming evidence suggests that the rat-based theory alone cannot explain the rapid and widespread devastation caused by the Black Death. The belief that rats were solely responsible for the plague had significant implications throughout history. It led to the persecution of innocent creatures and resulted in various methods to exterminate them, including brutal and ineffective measures. By re-evaluating our understanding of the Black Death's transmission, we can learn from our past mistakes and make better informed decisions in the future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your fellow history enthusiasts. And of course, subscribe to our channel for more captivating explorations of the past. Until next time, stay curious and keep seeking knowledge.